Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So if you're passionate about skincare and seek products that are effective and affordable then this is the channel for you. So please do make sure you subscribe down below and join our little skincare family and also please do give this video a massive thumbs up because it really does help me out. And so without further ado, let's get on to today's video. <laughs> guys, the day has finally arrived. Can you believe it? It's like Christmas already. Christmas in August. And that's what I live. You know what? I was really struggling on deciding which sunscreen to wear today. And then the delivery man came. Ding, 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 ding. I am so excited to share with you my review and my opinions on what potentially could be the best sunscreen that any skincare brand has ever, ever made. And you guys know how much I love the Inkillis, their affordability, their transparency, their honesty to the consumers, and their high quality products. And they have finally, finally released, just yesterday, their SPF 30 sunscreen with 100% UV mineral filters. Oh my goodness gracious me, I am so excited you know when you feel like you've waited all year for something and the day finally comes and you just actually can't quite believe it's here it's happening like what is going on i am actually holding the inkily sunscreen in the palm of my hands oh. <laughs> so priced at 14 pound 99 it makes it a super affordable yet high quality product did we expect anything less from Inky. Absolutely not. And they stay true to no product going over £15, which is absolutely fabulosa. And so before we get into the texture, the consistency and the application, let's delve deep into the formulation and see what this product is all about. And when they announced that it was going to be a mineral sunscreen, I was actually really surprised because it does limit the target audience. However, they have put a twist on this mineral sunscreen like no other, and I'm so excited to share more with you. And so as the name states it is a 100% mineral sunscreen it's not a hybrid and it's not a chemical sunscreen either and for any of you guys that don't know the difference between a mineral sunscreen and a chemical sunscreen is that a mineral sunscreen actually reflects the uv rays off of the skin whereas a chemical sunscreen absorbs the uv rays and filters them out before it can damage the skin and also the body and mineral sunscreens either have one or two sunscreen ingredients which are fda approved and that is zinc oxide and also titanium dioxide and the inculus mineral sunscreen spf 30 contains 22 percent non nano zinc oxide and this means it offers an even broader spectrum of protection which is highly stable and non-irritating to the skin it is important to note that there is a concerning factor regarding mineral sunscreens and their white cast finish on the skin and with that the cosmetic industry have basically produced and created nanoparticles for better wearability on the skin however the concerning factor of nanoparticles is that they can get absorbed into the skin and sort of really damage the skin health and also the body health at the same time and so even though the research is not 100% factual in regards to the damaging effects of the nanoparticles on the skin and the body what the Inkalist have really done here is taken into account the consumer's concerns and hesitations of nanoparticles in a mineral sunscreen and applying that on a regular basis daily and they really ensured and put our mean minds at ease when they have created this sunscreen because they've included a non nanoparticle zinc oxide and so this leads us on to the question because this sunscreen doesn't have any nanoparticles will it leave a white cast on the skin and the answer is no. And this is because the Inkalist have formulated this sunscreen product with a low level non-cosmetic tint just to really help and assist the blending application of this sunscreen. And they have used the least whitening grade of zinc oxide which will help reduce the white cast for all skin tones. However, it might be more slightly prominent in darker skin tones. And just to clarify, this isn't a tinted sunscreen. And another benefit of mineral sunscreens as well as their fantastic UV protection is that they are coral reef safe which i know is a really important key factor in choosing a sunscreen for many many consumers and you guys out there as well and the amazing benefits of this inkly sunscreen do not end there because this is also formulated with one percent polystop which is a patent technology ingredient which creates like this invisible weightless film on the skin to protect your skin from pollution other ingredients in sort of like that top half of the ingredients list include the likes of caprylic triglyceride glycerin and also a few silicons in there in which my opinion are necessary in a sunscreen product and fyi all the negative things you hear about silicons in skincare products are just myths 
And then we go further down the ingredients list and we have some fantastic ingredients like squalane, we've got a 2% shea butter complex, we've got aloe leaf juice powder, we've also got sunflower seed oil in there and also biosaturide gum. Some of these ingredients do fall below the 1% line, however they are still in there and they still have the job to do. And there is also a scoville palmitate in there which is towards like the very end of the ingredients list. So, you know, some vitamin C benefits for your skin, however don't expect the same benefits of ascorbic acid or ascorbyl glucoside because it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> so that just brings me on to the application of this. So let's get this bad boy cracked open and really put it to the test. So you can see that I haven't even, you know, taken that little um, plastics film off, seal off. <laughs> so instantly you can actually see that it has got that tint in there. And so I'm just going to apply it on my skin because, you know, sun, I'm going to be protected today. <laughs> yep, so it looks like that. So it does actually look quite dark, but I really do think this is going to really spread evenly and sort of just, you know, really adapt to my skin tone. I have to come closer. <laughs> so, I mean, look at that. It's just absorbed so effortlessly into my skin. And like you can see where I really do need to rub it in there, but the top half here, just effortless, really is effortless. You can just see how that's just working into my skin like so. Really should, uh, you know, avoid the delicate eye area when you're applying a mineral sunscreen, but I'm just so used to applying it near my eye area that I just did, so <laughs> we'll see if I get any irritation, but... I really don't think I will do. So it's not greasy, it's not like, you know, really sort of like shiny on the skin. It just really sits well and like, guys, that is just, you know, gone on it. And this is the real test around here because when I usually have sunscreens, you know, like probably, you know, half of the sunscreens that I own, it gets really clumpy and really stuck around my facial hair. And I think, you know, if a sunscreen can overcome that and just really sort of blend well into my facial hair, it is a blooming good formula. And so that is all of the sunscreen products applied onto my face, my ears, and also my neck. And I'm honestly absolutely amazed that a mineral sunscreen has just been so effortlessly worked into my skin. There's no white cast, there's no clumping on my facial hair. I'll come up and do like a little close up <laughs> when it focuses. <laughs> so there's literally no white cast. There's no clumping on my facial hair or anything like that. That is ugh, mind blown <laughs> and i obviously have fair skin so yes it is going to work better for me but with the inca list and even on the inca list website they have put a picture of all of the different skin tones and application of the mineral sunscreen and the results are amazing they are phenomenal i'll pop a picture here or here i can't never remember which side it is but yeah i'll pop a picture on screen here of all the different skin tones and you know it's this sunscreen product is fantastic the only downside for me personally is the size i would have liked it in 100 mils but i absolutely totally appreciate the cost the time and the technology that has been had and spent on this formula in this product you know i absolutely hands down appreciate that um i will definitely be getting through this quickly so i will need to repurchase and i'll let you know once i finished it and how long it, how long it has lasted me but for 50 mils of this quality and standard of a mineral sunscreen for £14.99 this rivals so many higher end brands on their sunscreens i know and obviously I'm not wearing any makeup so I can't give an opinion or review on a makeup application with this sunscreen. But if any of you out there are wearing makeup and have applied this product and reapplied it throughout the day, then please do let me know down in the comments below or message me over on Instagram because I'll be really interested to see the durability and the wearability with this product alongside makeup. But overall, my skin doesn't feel greasy, it doesn't feel heavy, it's not shiny or anything like that. Like it just looks exactly the same, but I know that I've got fantastic UV protection, I've got pollution protection and I've got some really fantastic ingredients like shea butter and sunflower seed oil and you know you've got your ascorbyl palmitate in there, you've got your biosaturide gum which is fantastic like this is just amazing 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 you could possibly even get away with it if you had really oily oily skin and you know moisturizers you just couldn't find a moisturizer for you this is you know 
this is a really, really fantastic alternative to a moisturiser and a sunscreen in one. So I really do hope you enjoyed this really sort of like spontaneous review. I only got it like a few hours ago and I'm just so excited to share it with you. And yeah, so please do let me know down in the comments below if you've managed to get your hands on it and what you think because I would absolutely love to know your opinion as well. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. See you later. Bye bye.